Hey, what's going on, artists? This is Derek from Superficial Nonsense. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in. If uh, you like this video, hit the like button. If you have something you'd like to add to it or any questions, you can put it in the comments below. Uh, if you believe that at any point during this video I'm adding massive value to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you think that uh, you know somebody that this needs to be shared to, go ahead and hit the share button and send it on over to them. Um, start off the video just like this, okay? This video is about lyrics for rappers. Um, really, lyrics for anybody, but we can, we're gonna break it down for rappers to a whole nother degree. Sorry, I got something going on out here. So, what makes a hit song? Is it the beat? Or is it the words? Is it the way that the beat's made? Or is it the way that the words are to the beat? That's, um, that's the golden question, isn't it? You want your songs to be hits, don't you? Of course you do. We all do. You want people to be able to hear your thoughts when they hear your songs as if they're their own thoughts. That's the type of songs you liked always, right? So it's a combination of both. Sometimes a beat that people may think could never be nothing can be something if the right rapper gets a hold of it and feels that vision to it. That's the whole point about this. That's why uh, at my site, you know, I believe that by serving the person at the outlet, the, the music listeners, and then the music artists, and then the producers, I, I put them in a category where they're all just as important. But right now, I want to add value to your artists so that the listeners can get the most out of what you put together with the producers. Um, anybody who is writing to beats, okay, you can sit there and you can write however you want. You can use a phone, you can use a journal, alright? Here's what I recommend doing. Sit down, have some sort of headphones on, unless you've got nobody else around you and you're not going to have to be self-conscious whatsoever about somebody else hearing you. And when you write your songs, you want that, that first part where you go in or say anything, you want to make sure that it's something that fits really good there for not only the song but also for you and what you're about to probably ideally even vaguely right after that okay and I want you to sit down and you write that first part and you just kind of go with it okay then when you kind of hit a block I want you to start the beat back over now what you need to do is go back go and try to rap it wherever it gets a little muddy with the words and you start feeling like uh, I don't know I want you to take that where you think that it's been good to up so far and get rid of the rest of it start the beat over keep going through starting the beat over until you find the next line starting the beat over this is not so much about uh, making this the greatest song that you're writing right now what happens is by doing what I'm talking about I don't know, I'll tell you at the end how many things happens, or we'll, we'll know at the end how many things happens, because there's a lot of things that happen. By, by doing that first, you, you capture the first inspiration and the essence of what you want to make this song about, right? You may get 12 bars in, 8 bars in, before you finally run out of ideas, okay? But the you set up the idea of what this song made you feel like. Now when you go back, 9 times out of 10, after the first four or bars, or maybe six bars, that you sat and wrote through, it won't make it won't make sense almost, or it won't flow with the word, with the beat the way that it goes. Your your mind can hold it in a little bit, but then it, it gets a little off course. But the more that you do this, that I'm saying, this part will improve as well. You may be able to. There's been times I've written the whole song right through a whole verse or the the hook, I had the hook already in mind and knew what I was going to do and say, but um, 
you know, you sit down and do that. Start the beat over. Because what's happening is, the more that you do that, you're also getting familiar when the bass drops a certain way, when the hi-hats pick up a certain way, when that clap comes in, when you, you start to learn not what exact words, but what way that you say exact words goes with that part. You know what I mean? Where's the metaphors? Where's the punchline? There's a rhythm here. And that, this is the way to achieve it. Uh, I'll relate it to something that, that I use, the exact same process that I use this to in, in another part of my life. And even in other parts of my life. But when I go to the gym, first thing I do is stretch. And I take my time stretching. I get myself in the mood. Okay, First, you get yourself in the mood. Then, after that, you do what the refining stage. You refine what you're doing. So after that, I go and I go on to ellipticals. I do three different ellipticals. And what I'm doing, I don't I don't use my hands on those little things that monitor your hands. No, I balance while I run on these things. What it does, not only does it improve your posture, but it also strengthens your muscles in a way that balances your body. And people think cardio is only used. See, they call what I do, what I'm doing cardio. But I know that what I'm doing also is strengthening core muscles the way that I do it. And that's the whole thing about this beat thing. Uh, for anybody that didn't want to hear that, well, that's on you. But the people that stayed long enough, you're going to add massive value to yourself by understanding, by listening to what I had to say about that and relating it back to this. When you sit and you write that first part like we talked about, it gets you in the mood. It's like stretching. It's like stretching. You put your first ideas there. Now you know what your intention is as you go forward. Now you write, the more that you do that thing where I said starting the beat over, yes, it may be annoying. Are you, do you want to write great songs? If that's really what you want and that's what you think is going to add value to you as an artist, you if your lyrics can be the best as possible, this is what is going to do it. If you're already bomb, already writing bomb lyrics without doing what I just said, then, I don't, then you're on this video for a whole other kind of reason. But if you're not, then that's the reason that I'm saying what I'm saying. And as you will see, it, it gives you creative control. And I'm not talking about creative control like you get to decide what you write. But yes, it is from not like a uh, somebody else telling you what to do. But, but you get to decide why am I saying what I'm saying. And another thing that you realize is the more as you go with this, there's a whole other back end story to this, is that if you want to write songs just for you and record them and listen to them in your car, then this is perfect what I've just taught you for even taking your ability to the next level for yourself. Like if you want to get extra intellectual, you want to talk about conspiracy a little bit more, or whatever your style is, you know what I mean? Or you want to be more street, or this or that, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever you think. But, if you are wanting to write music and become one of the greats that's known by a lot of people, you st I'm not saying you're not great, but if you want to become known by a lot more people, you've got to realize that when you write your lyrics, not only do they need to be something that resonates with you but is there a place in between what you would write because it's true to yourself completely and that would communicate what's true to yourself completely to other people because that's the real craft okay uh i'll bring up some rappers right now and i'll put it real serious drake is one of the rappers that mastered this wayne semi mastered it and probably did on a couple tracks actually there was a hot period where he was doing that about 10 years ago and they had that going now and I'm going to bring up another name a lot of people don't like this dude Montana 300 he did it too he combined street with intelligence and then he combined it with like communicating the blunt truth to people in a way inside of his metaphors are punchlines <laughs> Uh, it baffles me, but I, res I, I recognize game where, where there's game to be recognized. Look, this process is what's going to add the value to you 
you don't even have to listen to this anymore. Go ahead and get off of here. And before you go, if you liked it, like it. If you have something to say, or if you have any questions, you can message me on any of my social platforms, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can share this to somebody else if they're struggling with writing and you feel like this would help them as producers if you're on here for some reason and you know an artist that needs the help by adding value to them you're adding value to yourself inadvertently even if they aren't the ones that ever purchase your beats that's you're putting energy out there and that doesn't go away help the artist artist pay for the producers so that they can feel more comfortable helping you I know where I stand in it already. I'm going to add massive value to artists and producers and the industry as a whole. I'm going to be the most well-renowned hip-hop producer, and I have not decided yet. I'm 28 years old right now, and I have not decided yet whether I'm even interested in becoming an artist or whether I'll just do a video here and there or whatever, make songs here and there. But, yeah, I just wanted to put a little word on to that right now like like what I just told you is like literally for lyricists or rappers or whatever it is literally like the it's like the music theory of writing lyrics like I I personally believe to sing I used to wake up and play my guitar and sing every day so much I didn't take vocal lessons I was I was like, um, I was operating at a level that was just as good as people in the industry that had clout, okay? Like, this is the music theory almost. That, the closest thing I know of a music theory that is very convenient and is really going to hone your skills is that, that thing. Writing first to get in the mood and inspired completely, like write what you think, and then when you have a dead thought, and you need to start over. After you write out a list of some words that really fit with the idea you're going for, boom, keep that list, even set it to the side. And that's really, sometimes I've done that too. So I just take the list when I've been writing a lot. I know, just take the list, set it to the side. Now copy the ones, the words so far that flow with the song and even keep that list so you can wait for the right moment in the song and use those parts. Recycling your lyrics is a very good thing to do. I, I, I don't think get too crazy with it because the inspiration will tell you what to say next as you start that beat over start that beat over and file your songs away in an organized manner that that makes this whole thing make even more sense and it makes it less painful because it's okay to stop on a verse in a song there will come a day when you will be able to write that next verse but if you don't keep that stuff organized in some way be it in your phone, in a file folder, if you write with paper, then you might end up losing your song. Not to really worry about it. you can write another one, but still, like, you know, if you've got gold, why not enjoy it? But anyway, yeah, uh, I really appreciate it. You know, if you like this, hit the like button. Uh, comment if you've got something to say. I'd love to hear it. If you've got questions, you can comment or you can DM me on any of my social media platforms, like I already said. Share the video to somebody if you know that this will add value to them. And uh, if you think that I've added massive value to you or you realize that I have at any point in time, come back and hit that subscribe button or hit the subscribe button now because, you know, I'm going to just keep doing this. Like, it's not going to stop, dude, because... I'm going to give people what's going to help them because I'm going to get what I want. Pretty simple, right? Peace.